Hey beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight to your messages, Gemini. Gemini, I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm wishing you the very, very best for the new year. I truly am, Gemini. Let's see. You've been going through a lot of difficulties. You've had to set up some sort of boundaries. New energy is telling you, take a go for it, take a risk. Talk to the moon, communicate. Hmm. But someone's doing nothing. Oh, jeez, Gemini. How at the moon? Oh, shit. Okay. Process your feelings. I just researched this. The howling moon... This is January the 25th. January the 25th is the howling moon. The full moon in January is called the howling moon. Wait, I'm going to read you what it says about it. This came out in another zodiac sign. Yes, the full moon, next full moon, will be January the 25th. The wolf moon, which shows two wolves here. In January, the full moon is often called the wolf moon, a name which may date back when the wolves would howl outside the villages, jump to invisible planets, stars, and constellations. And it's looking like the moon has a lot to do with this. The crescent moon the full moon do nothing it says do nothing this is jumping constellations hang on It shows the lavender. The moonflower is a morning glory. This is about the constellations. Just let me try and decipher this message. So it's like Lavender, lavender moon, uh, lavender morning glories. It's like do nothing. On the void of the moon. Something is going up. 
Let's see, it is about the constellations, the waxing, the waning of the moons. Moon circles for support. Someone's trying to get knowledge. Somebody is working with the moon. Somebody is working with the moon cycles here. Let's see where this is going. What are all these moon constellations here for Gemini? Do nothing. Somebody is looking for some kind of support. Financial support. Five of Wands in reverse. This is a right fighter. Do nothing. I don't want to fight. It's like I'm not doing anything. I'm doing nothing. Something to do with judgment and karma. Constellations. Somebody is like lying or I don't know what they're doing. It's the king of wands. Somebody's spying. On um, someone single and someone very wealthy here. This is forgiveness. Somebody wants to make an offer to somebody who is single. Somebody is worried about an ending and is depressed, sad. You gotta make something right. This is about closure. Hmm. Something freaky going on here. Oh shit. This is a damn ass karmic.
So somebody was working with the moon cycles. Definitely doing some magician work here. Definitely doing working with the moon cycles. It could be somebody looking into the constellations. Looking up someone's birth chart. Looking into someone's birth chart. chart trying to steal. Hang on. So, it looks as if there is a, a lover who is working with the moon cycles. You monsters. So, they're looking into this person's birth chart. They are looking up the constellations, trying to pull it nearer to them. They're trying to look up... <laughs> you bastards. So, so anyway, Gemini, someone's using the moon cycles to call in someone else's destiny. They're using this person's birth charts to somehow alter the destiny of uh, an earth angel's destiny. Give me a break. Holy crap. They're going to be void. Oh, Jesus, this is a high priestess. No, 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 you don't want to do that. See, they also call the howling moon the moon of lack. It is when the wolves would howl outside the communities when they were starving. And it's like someone is like in lack and they're without or going to be without. And they are like using the moon rituals or moon to call in uh, someone else's blessings. They are not to be trusted. And they're not going to be successful. They're going to end up getting hurt. There is somebody looking into somebody's destiny, looking in their birth charts, looking up their past. Trying to dig up dirt on an empress. Bad mistake. Mm hmm Wanting what this empress has. Boundaries. Somebody's like, I can't do anything. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's not working. I can't do anything. Everything I try isn't working. That's because it is someone else's destiny. That is because... It is somebody else's gifts that is because it belongs to the creator. Who do you think created the moons, the heavens, the constellations, the earths, the planets? Destiny belongs to the creator. And someone is paying someone. Somebody is paying someone to research someone's birth charts. Uh, looking up, trying to use the moon's magic to attract what the high priestess has. Well, that's danger. They can do nothing. See? 
the constellations are with the constellations. It is in their... Hmm. Yeah, I'm better. You know what they want it for themselves. That is the truth. They will regret it. They may end up trapping themselves in another constellation. Maybe that's what they planned. Moon rituals to trap someone. person loved them so there's uh, someone else there's another lover it could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius or someone who is using moon rituals to attract this deceive this Emperor or Like I said, that is the mentality of lack. So because they feel like the constellations are supporting this empress, the star seed, who is from the constellations to begin with, It's almost like they're trying to steal the someone else's destiny. I want to say it. It's like someone who is using moon rituals to steal someone else's um, destiny. Looking up their birth charts. Trying to figure out the their planetary alignments. Trying to do research on this Empress's planetary chart. Their alignment. It's almost like they're trying to use moon rituals to have the same amount of attraction capabilities as what this high priestess has or this empress has. Tell me about this. Are they going to be able to succeed with this spirit? Whoever this nasty one is over here, spirit, who is doing these moon rituals, are they trying to steal? They will not have success. They're going to be exposed. That's what it is. Doing things under the moon in secrecy. Thinking that they could get away with it. They're not getting away with a damn thing. Hang on, Gemini. I'm going to get another deck. I got to get the evil eye out because I'm telling you, Gemini, somebody's doing some F shit under the moon. Yeah, they are. They're trying to cause someone else to miss an opportunity. 
someone is judging this person's spirituality. And the person doing this is an air sign. I knew they were. It's a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that is doing this. Keeps coming out. That's three times this air sign came out. Beware of anyone from your past wanting back in your life. Someone has an unhealthy obsession here. And it is a fellow air sign. It could be someone with um, air and water. Or two people. There could be a couple of people here doing this. They're feminines. Feminine energies. Hmm? In some cases it can be a masculine air sign. Or a couple of air signs. Uh... They're sure coming up in a lot of reads, this couple. It could be a couple doing this. Well, there's two wolves on there. Howling at the moon. They're going to be exposed. Someone needs to accept responsibility for their wrongdoing. Like I said, you can't get away with nothing with a high priestess. Like a lot of people don't realize that everybody thinks a high priestess is someone who sits around doing witchcraft or something like that. High priestesses of spirit? There's nothing crafty about them. They're good at their craft, like tarot, or they're strong believers. They have a strong faith. They're quite often not even from here. They are from the constellations. They're star seeds. They're people sent here to help other people. They're sent as guides to allow other people to heal and finding uh, other people to put on their path. Uh, people hear about a high priestess who works with tarot or is an a spiritualist. They do not sit there doing um, evil spell work. They do not conjure. They do not do any of those things. They're here as messengers. That's all they do help people on their path to healing and there's nothing evil about them but whoever this other energy is 
they're using it's like they're trying to like use these gifts learn about these gifts so that they can misappropriate the gift like spirit's not having it like spirit would call anybody's ass out like if i was to do that i would lose my gifts I would not have my gifts. This is somebody who wants the knowledge, wants the gifts that the high priestess has, but is going about it trying to steal it. You don't steal those gifts. Or your spirit will just never allow you to have them in the first place. And even if you get away with it for a while, it will be taken from you you'll be exposed like somebody's doing this like oh, i want the destiny of what this high priestess has well you know they're chosen for this these kind of people is chosen for this purpose. This is like a fake wannabe. This is like somebody who wants to be like the high priestess, but isn't the high priestess. And they're not going to be a high priestess because they are um, not using their gifts for good purposes they are f you can't fraud the universe like seriously and if they do they're going to be under heavy judgment for doing so there is karma will come back and kick their ass this is craziness man They want it for themselves. And like I said, that's the lack moon. So it's like they can howl and howl to the moon. But their rituals will not work on this high priestess. They cannot touch the high priestess. And that is the moon of lack. So when you when you're calling out things, it shows that you are I'm not saying no more, I'm being told not to. Give me other messages for Gemini, please, Spirit. That was my affirmation. Doing work to hurt people. That's taking a risk. Because justice will prevail. Like, seriously, everybody has a judge and everybody has someone who is higher than us. That's what Spirit's saying. Somebody's trying to do some F shit, doing rituals to like... For bad purposes, it's here. It's here. And I can't change it. That's what it is. And Spirit is saying, you're taking a risk. Because if they do do this to the high priestess, they will have immediate judgment upon them. And justice will be served right away. 
and that's what I'm told to say. So Gemini, if somebody is doing this against a high priestess, they had better think twice. Because there is nothing evil about this high priestess over here. Zero. Nothing. is This high priestess is not doing any harm at whatsoever. They're a healer. They're a guide. They're here to assist. So when someone comes against one of the universe's star seeds or chosen ones, it definitely will backfire a hundred percent of the time take care